the next chart that we are going to add for our dashboard is going to be an area chart where we will show the relationship between gross profit to EBITDA and to operating profit so you can see we have shown the relationship between sales and gross profit and net profit but we don't want to ignore the other part of our PNL as well and we want to show that where our operating profit has shrunk or where EBITDA has shrunk so we want to highlight the specific areas to add the new chart of course we will have to add the new worksheet and now that we have the new worksheet first of all let us quickly add the values that we just wanted to so I'll bring in the gross profit and I'll, I will also bring in the EBITDA and I will finally also bring in the operating profit as well so here is my operating profit after that I'll make sure that I also add the date field so that I can expand the values as I like and you know system has by default added, added the line chart I don't need that so I will go there and select the area chart and now here there are three separate axes I rather want one single axis where all of these three values should be represented for that I will go there and I will just you know hover over this small triangle and I will click here and drag it to the axis of this cross profit and you can see system has made it uh, the two parts of the chart into one and similarly we will do the same for a beta hover over this small triangle and once uh, it starts to show you this four arrow four sided arrow just click here and drag it to this axis of the value above and now you can see that all of those three values are now being presented in this area and you can very quickly see that the last part that is basically the operating profit is having the trouble there is no such massive increase the kind of increase that we have seen in the gross profit so and of course there is a small increase that we can see here in the EBITDA as well now just to you know expand this to the further levels of quarter and month i will click here and click here again to expand this further to the month level and now we have our values nicely presented we can see that in which months we are having problems in which part of our business now after that i will go to this color palette and i will say edit colors and what i want to do is for the cross profit i will say let's use the dark blue so i don't have the dark blue here so i'll click on this drop down and let us further drag down and i will say this lightning light is or maybe lightning dark is good for me i want to use uh, dark colors for this and i want to you know keep myself as maximum as in the blue theme so for the gross profit i'm going to use this dark value and then after that for the EBITDA I'm going to use this blue value and for the operating profit I'm going to use little different color so that that is very easily uh, kept separate so let us apply and see how it is looking and I think uh, these two colors are quite resembling so I will rather like to change one of them so let me change the EBITDA or let me change the operating profit instead and let me make it light green so let us click on apply and i think this is now reasonably uh, this is now looking uh, nice so i'll click ok and definitely you will choose the colors as per your own choice after that i would like to do one more thing and that is i would like to present the cross profit line on the top in this chart so i'll click here and drag it upwards and once you start to see that small arrow on the left just uh, drop it there and then beta should be fine coming at the second place and then we have the operating profit in the last so i just wanted to follow the same uh, pattern that we follow in the uh, in the profit and loss statement uh, having done this with this chart i will just click here to remove my axis so i'll click on this i will uncheck this show header similarly click here and uncheck this show header and finally let us uh, rename let us change this heading so i'll click on edit title and i will say this should be gross profit followed by EBITDA and followed by operating profit then select all the text and now let us change the heading as per our own style 
and make it blue in color and click on apply so this one is looking fine and finally everything is looking fine except the lines that we are seeing in the background so i want to remove these background lines and for that i will go to this format option and i will say go to lines and in the in those lines let us make sure that first of all we have no line for rows here and once we have done that you can see the lines have gone and we are now ready to present this chart on our dashboard for that i will go back to my dashboard but before that let me change this name here so i will just change the name to something as gp beta and op and finally let us go to our dashboard and in this dashboard i will go to this sheet here in the dashboard uh, i will just click here right click here and click add to dashboard and now you can see we have this value that has been added i mean this visual has been added uh, select the visual go to layout and click on floating so that we can place it according to our own needs and then just reduce the size and we can keep it here for now and finally we'll fix it later you can see there is a kind of strange frame that is appearing here so i will just select that and remove that from here and you will also see that in the background these measures these measure names are appearing and the color uh, scheme is appearing for them so how do we remove that from here well actually that is coming from these charts so if i go back to these sheets you can see we have this measure name available here so i will click here and i will say uh hide card i don't want to see that and once we do that it should be gone from this sheet let us go back to the dashboard and let us first of all click here to select it and remove this one as well and let us place our header back to its place okay so with that we are ready to move to our next visual let us do that in the next lecture